pouch. Okay. Can you show me please how to use grips properly? All right. So uh, various tennis grips. In order to understand the tennis grips, we have to understand the handle. If you look at the tennis handle, uh, you'll have, uh, you know, we have the top handle, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight panels, and this is the base knuckle of the index finger. This is the base index inside, and you can see this is the outside base knuckle of the index finger. Now, if this base knuckle is on panel number one, it's on panel number one, that's eastern backhand grip. Now that's used for the one-handed backhand grip uh, stroke. And when this knuckle is on panel number two, like that, that's what we call continental grip. This grip is used for the serve and forehand volley, backhand volley, and overhead smash. And you can see that continental grip. And when this base knuckle is on panel number three, this is the panel number three here. You can see that. This is eastern forehand grip. Eastern forehand grip. And when this base knuckle is on panel number four, this one, you see that that's a uh, semi-western forehand grip. And when this is really down under, see now this knuckle is down under, that's called full western forehand grip. All right? And uh, so these are the various grips, and the top players, ATP and WTA players, they will use one of the grips. For example, Bavarinka, when he hits his backhand, he's a bit extreme backhand grip. See, this knuckle is almost on panel number eight. You can see that. So Vavarinka needs to put uh, wrist behind the handle because he wants to generate massive top spin. So uh, these are the grips. Coach, now can, we sh can you show me the basic things about forehand? All right. The forehand, uh, generally we teach uh, Eastern forehand grip. And some place like Novak Djokovic will have uh, semi-Western so these two grips, like if you look at Roger Federer, he, he has eastern forehand grip, eastern forehand grip. He went Pete Sampras, eastern forehand grip. And uh, first of all, the stance, this is the stance, the ready position. From this ready position, you turn clockwise, so you turn, this is the turn position, and then you take a step, and this is the point of contact position. And this is the fallen. The attack hits the ball so that you understand the ball. And there you have it. Can you show Wait, you wait, wait. Coach, now. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Me and no, no, wait, 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 wait. Please come again. Coach, now can you show me, uh, please, some basic things about backhand stroke? The basic thing about get the backhand, the first thing is the backhand grip. And as we said before, we need the uh, eastern backhand grip. The knuckle is on top panel, panel number one. And uh, this is the stance. We need wider stance. From this stance, the shoulders turn anti-clockwise. See the turn position? Turn position. And then step position. And point of contact position. Important thing is, when you hit the ball, the elbow must be straight. And you can see that's L shape. And that's the follow through position. So I can repeat that. Turn position, step position, and hitting position. And both arms have to react to each other, left arm and the right arm. I can hit some balls. One more. One more, one more if I can get the right box. And here you have it. Coach, now 
can you uh, show me please uh, the basics about Bori stone? So the wall is the basic grip is continental grip. And you can see that the base nickel of the index finger is on turn number two. You can see that. And the V is slightly on the left side. So this is the basic uh, grip for the volley. And important thing is that you don't you should not take any back swing. It's just like uh, locking the ball, locking the ball, and just punch it like the way I'm doing it here beforehand. Wide back swing, catch the ball out in front, and and punch the ball forward. Coach, please, now time to show us uh, overhead strike. Overhead smash. Uh, the grip is again the continental grip, the serve grip. And important thing to know about the overhead smash is that it is abbreviated version of the serve. Like generally on the serve, you will have uh, this kind of a movement and. Uh, this and this and this. But for the overhead smash, this is your ready position, and, and this is your hitting position. Like I, I demonstrate some smash there. the left arm to drag the ball mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then everything else is just like you serve. I hope I answered this so question. This, uh, very important. Uh, very important. Yes. Yes. Now show us please uh, service, service movement. The important thing about the serve is that you need continental grip and you should hold the racket behind, you know, just at the uh, butt cap. And your wrist and arm should be ready to lose like you lose, okay? And the stance is generally, the several stance is generally, see that like that. This is the stance. The starting position. See, my, the grip is very loose. And this position, my racket is in my left arm. So I just want to explain the components. This is component number one. This is number two. These are upper body turn, knee bend. And this is number three, the back scratch. And this is number four. And this is number five. Five components. Now when you hit the serve, all you have to do is just um, uh, connect the dots. Connect all the dots the way I'm doing here. Very, very relaxed. Uh, uh, this is a generally basic serve. The professionals... What is the difference between first and second serve? Okay, the first and second serve... The first serve, we hit a bit flat. And the second serve, you add it with spin, like see, mm -hmm. the second serve you add with the spin, drop spin. So you know, you want to the first one, right? Hit that, and then you can the ball then to the net. Mm -hmm. And now I'll just have to spin, upward spin. Uh, oh, yeah. So I just added it. Oh, 
the next guy, you can see Roger Federer, he does something like, like this. Leg drive, yes. The leg drive pushes your uh, right hip, and the right hip pushes your right shoulder, and then you are going after the ball. The way I'm doing it. The leg drive. The left drive launches me forward. Uh, one more. Launches me upward forward. Uh, one more, one more. The upward forward. The toss has to get high. Yeah, it launches me upward forward. I hope I answered the question. Thank you, Coach, for your very, very good explanation of the basics of tennis.